Hello guys and welcome back to my Wolves Crew mode. I think we're on episode 46 or something like that. Uh, I'm trying to let you guys know now this episode isn't live. Uh, the reason for that being, uh, I tried recording and every time I was recording, my hay fever kept playing up. So I was sneezing, I was like <sighs> just snorting and everything. And it just didn't sound too nice over the mic. So I thought, you know what, I'll do a voiceover instead. But as you can see, our first game is against Atletico Madrid in the, ch in the Champions League. Yeah, the Champions League. Not doing that well in Europe at the moment. Uh, we didn't do that well actually last year as well. I think we we went out in the group stage if i remember correctly yeah we went out in the group stage which isn't great so playing atletico madrid as well who are finalists uh two years no uh twice in three years yeah that's right so we've got atletico madrid psv and lazio in our group so it's going to be a tough group as you can see nice little one two here between hinacho and uh, neves cuts back takes a shot and it's a great save by all black one of the best keepers in the world at the moment as well may actually look into him for wolves eventually but like I was saying, we still need to strengthen in uh, Europe if we can. Like I said, Ismail here, nice player, you know. I think he's only rated like 67, 66, something like that. Look at that, nice off the line. I think that's by Savic, who uh, played for Man City once. Didn't really work out for him. But you know what, uh, uh, Atletico Madrid are like one of the best defensive teams in the world under Simeone. So it's going to be a, ta a task to get past them. As you can see, Williams cutting inside here, trying to find that, you know, that little opportunity. Go to take the shot there get unlucky I can't remember the last time he scored here we go again Ishmael again look at this gets taken out look at that what's, what's going on there ref here we go we'll give it to I can't remember who we give it to was it Neves we give it to who's good on his right foot looks to line it up and then there you go boom finds the back of the net Neves can take corners take free kicks I haven't seen him take a penalty yet, actually to be fair so we may actually look into that but Neves a uh, great set piece taker, great player. Uh, he's only young as well, so he's got he's got you know room to grow, room to grow. But look at that free kick, goalkeeper. All Black didn't have a chance. Great start, and here we go again, catching after the Madrid on the counter. Delhi Ali finds it. Um, Ishmael out on the wing, skips past his man. Look at that, running, 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 using that pace, cuts past his man, crosses the ball in, and who's there to nod it in? But the man himself, Weigel. Our CDM the scoring in this game. Where are where are our attacking players? Where are they? You're supposed to be stepping up. Do you know who made that goal as well? Ishmael again. The, the guy, whenever I play him, he does his job. You know what I'm saying? He skips past people. He does his job. Gets an assist. I don't know how he kept the ball in. Crosses it and there's a Ouija just to tap it in. Easy goal. All Black didn't have a chance. It was my mistake. Yeah, I passed the ball out. My mistake. I don't know what I was doing. Miranda, what's he doing up there? Ball comes in and Atletico Madrid get a goal back. It was my mistake. I passed it out. I shouldn't have done. And then again, we lose the ball here again. Martinez out to Miranda, who's a striker all of a sudden. Finds Martinez again, who crosses the ball. And who's there? Correa, so that he plants his name, Correa. Just to tap it in to make a 2-2. Two, two. I, I threw this game away. I threw it away. We could have had our... Um, is it our first win in Europe? I'm not too sure if we've won in Europe yet, to be honest. But um, still struggling in Europe. As you can see, 2-2 two, two in the end. Four shots, four on target. We had a bit less possession. We your man of the match. As you can see, Atletico had eight shots, six on target. Man of the match was actually Weigel in the end, so fair play. And next game was against Southampton as well, back in, uh, turning our focus back to the Premiership. So we take on Ronald Koeman, Southampton next. But uh, Ronald Koeman won't be in charge of uh, Southampton for very much longer. It looks like he's heading to Everton to take over. Strange choice for me. I think uh, Southampton are a brilliant team. They've got great players and they seem to do really well under uh, Koeman last year. But if he wants to go, he wants to go. But look at this shot from Neves. Look at this. Boom. The guy can strike a ball. Just goes over. Unlucky for him. Our goalkeeper, by the way, in this game was incredible. I think it was Drew Moore who played in this game. I'm not too sure. Pele with the shot. And look at that from a save. That's twice he saved us in this game. Uh, he's probably the man of the match for me. Ramirez, look at his second half. Not many highlights in this game at all. Ball comes in. Don't know what he does there. And then the goalkeeper just, I don't know what happened. He just drops it. He sort of parries it away, it was flimsy, it was a joke. We can see the sloppy goal. Here you go, Price running in. We get a free kick here. Sacco's going to take it, you know, back at the club. Gets a chance here, but unfortunately it goes wide. I should have gave it Neves now, I think about it. It's probably the best choice. He scored a free kick in the previous game. I should have gave it to him. There we go, we get another free kick again. And I gave it to Sacco again on his left foot. Tries to place it, but this one goes wildly over. My mistake in the end, but I think that's going to bring it to the end of the game. Yep, losing 1-0 to Southampton in the end. 
Uh, like I said, it was a sloppy mistake. Should have drew the game in the end. Southampton had 10 shots, 7 on target. More possession, we had 8, only 4 on target. Drew more man of the match, even though he um, cost us the game with that little mistake. But we should have scored, we should have scored. Uh, our next game was a big one. It was against Liverpool. As you can see, we're currently third in the league, but we still have a game in hand. So if we win this game, we've got 21 points. So we need to win this one against Liverpool. Liverpool now under Jurgen Klopp, so I'm expecting big things from Liverpool next season. But as you can see, we get the first chance of the game. 14 Naki Williams turns his man, takes a shot, goes wide. Still can't find the back of the net. He will find it eventually. He's a great player. As you can see, Sturridge here. Don't know what he's doing out on the wing. Crosses it in. Skips, oh, we see, look at that, he skips up a man like he's not even there, falls to Fingy and look at that, it's a mistake, defending was very poor, I should have cleared my lines, was it Danny Ings, I'm not too sure who it was, yeah it was Danny Ings, I don't know what I was doing, I just really don't know what I was doing, Hinacho running in again, look at this, waiting for the run, waiting for the run, Saka runs in and then boom, straight past Mignolet to get, is that his first goal for the club, I don't, I'm not too sure, I can't remember to be honest, but he gets a goal just before half time to bring us back into the game, well done Saka, I can see Lana, look at this, Joe Allen. All the space in the world on the left. Where are my players? Where are my players? Danny Ings cuts inside, finds, um, I think that's Adam Lalana, and he just blasts it into the top corner of the net. 2 1. Lalana in this game was incredible. Um, I've always, I've never been a fan of Lalana, but in this game, he actually just showed why he was a great player. Look at that, into the top corner. Lalana. We had our chances, we had our chances in the game. As you can see, look at this. Find Deli Ali, skipped past his man, skipped past uh, Klein as well, and should have put that in the back of the net, but I don't know how he didn't. Here we go, uh, Origi, who's a great player as well, he's got a bright future ahead of him, runs inside, skips past my players, and there we go again, Adam Lalana, back of the net, 3-1 in the end. Oh, it's annoying, I don't know what happened in this game, our players just seem to get turned inside out every single time as you can see we've tried we've got a goal back in the end i think uh, bellerin finds deli ali who turns this man and then just places it past mignolet to make that three two deli ali probably our best player on the pitch uh, our goalkeeper our defense was just not there today it was a shame um so we like i said we missed a chance to go top of the league i think chelsea remain top of the league i can't remember what it was i think it's chelsea but as you can see it's going to bring it to the end of the game losing to liverpool in the end three two but anyway, as you can see the stats, I think Adam Lallana gets man of the match. Six shots, two on target. Liverpool had seven, five on target. We had less possession again. Uh, Adam Lallana was man of the match. Sacco was our man of the match with a 7.4 rating. That's not great. Lallana got a 7.9. Um, I want to show you guys the table quickly. As you can see, we haven't actually won a game in Europe yet. Two, uh, play two, only one point, which was against Atletico Madrid. So we need to get a point if we can. Next episode will be the same as this. I'm going to do a voiceover. Like I said, my uh, hay fever is playing up. But if you like did enjoy this episode, you know what to do. Smash that like button. And if you like a new round here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope you like having a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys soon. See you guys. Peace.